you don't necessarily need a smart TV, quote unquote, in order to bring, basically in order to make your television smart. There's different ways to do it. I'm going to show you two different ways. One is using a laptop. You can connect it with an HDMI cord. And another is getting some sort of smart device that you connect also with an HDMI cord. There's other cords that you can use, but uh, HDMI is usually the cord that you're going to use. Okay, so um, if you can't see that, I'll pull up a picture so you can see. But HDMI cord basically can make a regular old HD TV. It's weird to think that they're old at this point, but a regular HD TV you can make it. You know, like I said, you can make it smart. So. I'll show you how you can do it. Um, in this example, I have a MacBook, and I have an HDMI cord. But on this particular MacBook, and a lot of the the Apple laptops that are out there, you're not going to have that HDMI connection. If you're a Windows user, usually you're going to have that HDMI port right on the machine, no problem. But with Mac users, it's a little bit trickier. So, um, so in this case, I have an adapter, and since I have a, I believe it's a mini HD port. It takes that mini HD port and converts it into an HDMI. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and on the one end, obviously I'm going to plug in the adapter and plug this into the computer. Okay, and then the HDMI cord goes on the back of your HD TV. So a lot of TVs have more than one HDMI ports. And it really doesn't matter which one you pick. You just have to know which one it is so you can set up the TV accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this, this HDMI cord into, it says HDMI in 3. All right. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And if you notice, it's actually nothing's happening because it's on HDMI 1. All right. And the way you fix that is you go ahead and you... Um, in my case, I have a Sony Smart TV, and I'm going to go ahead and push the input button. It might say source. It might be a little bit different for you in your setup, but in my case, like I said, it's the input button. I'm going to push that input button, and I think right before that happened, the TV shut off. So let me turn it back on. I'm going to push the input button, and I know I plugged it into the third, the third um, HDMI slot, so I'll go ahead and select that one. And let's see, I'm not seeing anything. I think because the laptop is, is asleep. But cord-wise, everything is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and wake up my laptop here. And see something's happening. Yep, my Mac is up. Just have to log in. It fell asleep. And then you can see there, I have the White Plains Library website up. And then I can access any of the, um, you know, anything I can access on my computer. I can I could pull up an ebook if I wanted to, uh, but as long as I can get to it on the laptop, obviously I'm going to see it on the TV as well. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Another way is, like I said, having a smart device. Now this is a, uh, this is called an Apple TV. It's not an actual television. That's a misconception I notice. Um, Apple TV is is, a, uh, is it's basically a smart TV stick. So you might have heard of Amazon Fire, Amazon Fire Stick. Um, these are these are devices that take an HD TV and make them smart. So I plug in same way I plug in the laptop, except in this case I don't need an adapter. I just plug in my Apple TV into the the um, the HD TV, and you see it loads up. So I gotta. I haven't set this up, so it's on a setup screen, but you can see how you can take a regular TV, and honestly, um, you can take a re regular TV and make it smart. I'm telling you, it works better than a smart TV. Um, you, you're not, you, you don't really have to deal with a remote other than what I showed you with the input or the source um, choosing. So, so yeah, that's how you do it. So um, I hope this helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.